Hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's just so weird. Okay, well, I'm looking for my music. I've been in here for so long. I should have found it by now. But I've been listening to other things. Things that I think are very important. Uh, but I don't want to share with you tonight. Because I want to share with you tonight. Uh, blessed and cared for. Who do you think blesses us and who do you think cares for us? So we're going to look up some scriptures tonight. And we're going to answer that question. And... Um, Alright, my music has started. Yay. I'm listening to Amen by For King and Country. Okay, so I've been thinking about this today and actually thinking about freedom too. I've been I've had two two things just going on in my head today. Freedom and this. And so I chose this. I don't remember how this surfaced to the top, but somehow it did. So anyway, we're going to do this tonight. Alright, well, I hope that you had an awesome Friday. Today concluded my spring break. So we go back to learning time on Monday, the 15th. And uh, it's not a holiday, is it? No, it's not. But it's okay. I feel really good. I... I uh, got some extra things together, so I'm ready to try them with Seth and see how they go. He just, um, I don't think he's bored with flashcards. I guess I can't blame him. But anyway, I think I need to challenge him more. I think he knows more than what he wants to let me know that he knows. Kind of like most children, we don't want you to know that we know that if my volume is up okay well let's jump into prayer let's pray let's thank God that he does care for us that he does take care of us God we just come to you and we just thank you God that you do take care of us and that we are blessed no matter what we're going through God you're always there you um, and you care you care about us you care when we go through things God, we just thank you, and uh, we just pray. We just pray, God. We pray for people that are sick. I want to praise you, though. The baby that we've been praying for is off of oxygen, God, so we know that she is getting stronger every day, and we just pray that she will continue to get stronger. And, God, we just... Um, we just... Um, we're so thankful, God. I'm thankful that you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter. You are our healer. You are everything, God. You are in control. You are on your throne. And God, you are the righteous judge that will come and judge all unrighteousness. But God, you are also loving and kind and compassionate. And you are forgiving. You have grace that never ends and God we just love you with our whole heart our soul our mind and our strength and we just pray for the lost God we just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they can be saved we pray for the prodigals to come home God we pray for all the disasters all over the world God we pray that their needs would be met and we also pray, God, for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we just pray that they would feel your presence. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so I also want to pray for my friend Josie, who's sick. Um, I'll pray for her later. I did pray for her today. I hope that she's feeling better. Um... I may check on her if she doesn't show up in a little bit. Okay, so today, well, this is a God-perfect timing confirmation thing. 
because today on Facebook I shared um, how I feel about this song that's playing right now, Sparrows, by Corey Asbury, which talks about God taking care of us, that, you know, He knows our needs, He takes care of our needs. And uh, it's just perfect timing that that song would come on next. Okay, so I have been hearing this song and message by Corey Asbury. God takes care of the sparrows and he takes care of us too. I love the calming music and lyrics of this song. I do. It's so calming. It's such a calming. Um, I, the music is just very calming. And God is our creator, sustainer, protector, provider, shelter. And so much more than we can imagine or comprehend. He is on his throne and in control every second. God has today, tomorrow, and forever in the palm of His hands. We must trust God with all things. We can fully rely on His kindness and goodness. He takes good care of me. I am so thankful and grateful for His care. He loves us so much that He sent His Son to die for us all to offer us salvation and amazing grace. Are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite Him into your heart. Leave the old, receive the new. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to look up some scriptures about... Actually, what I found, found is fear and anxiety. Because the opposite of fear and anxiety is trust, having faith. And so... Um, I wanted to look up these scriptures so we're going to trust that God's going to take care of us and he is. Things may seem impossible where you are right now. You may be looking around going, I don't know how we're going to do that. How we're going to do this this time. But it's okay because God has it. He has it. And he doesn't want us to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be anxious. He wants us to trust him. So the first verse I want to look up is uh, Deuteronomy 31.6. Now I'm listening to Danny Gokey's It's a New Day. So if I start dancing around, that's why. Because I can't stay still with this song on. So if you ever pull up beside me and I'm doing this, you'll know that, hey, she's listening to that song that she can't stay stay still it has such a good beat it is not a calming song it is a get up and move song okay Deuteronomy 31 6 I found 31 let me find 6 be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And so, God is going to be with us. So, we can be strong and courageous. We can be strong and courageous in the face of adversity. Because God is going to go with us. We are not going to be by ourselves. We are not going to be alone. He is going to take care of us. He cares for us. Okay, so the second one is Isaiah 35.4. Now oh, my music stopped. I only have 2% battery on this phone, and I don't know. I thought I turned it off last night, but I probably didn't. The other night, I thought I turned my computer off, and I didn't. Okay, Isaiah 
35. I was really enjoying that song, and here we go. Sometimes it starts back up though. When you get out of YouTube. I don't know. Okay. So 35.4. There we go. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. This is what we need right now. There are people that are blind to the truth. There are people that cannot hear the truth even when they hear it. And um, so we need not fear because he will protect us. He's our protector. God is our protector. He will protect us. He will take care of us. This music is getting on my nerves. Okay, so the next one is Isaiah 41.10. And it says, Fear thou, thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. He will strengthen us. Yea, I will help thee. He's our helper. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He is righteous. And he, if we are righteous, he will uphold us. If we start being like these that have their eyes and their ears shut to the truth, then he can't do anything with us because we don't believe what he's telling us. Alright, well, I'm not going to have that in my ear if I'm not going to be able to listen to music. Maybe I need to concentrate anyway. Okay, so after Isaiah 41.10, I actually put these kind of in order. Uh oh, there's not a four. One, two, three. Oh, yes, there is. Psalms. Psalm 23, which is one of my favorite Psalms. I love Psalm 23. Talks about Jesus being our shepherd. Jesus cares for us. He will take care of us. He is the good shepherd. No, we're going back the other direction. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So we will be with Jesus forever, forever and ever. And until then, he is going to tend to us, just like a shepherd would uh, tend to his sheep. We are his sheep. He is the good shepherd. And we shall not want. He's going to care for us. We are cared for. That is so good. I, I love Psalm 23 one of my favorites so that was a good four and so Psalms 34 4 34 4 I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears well I'm going to start with one I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. 
I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. See, God does not want us to be afraid. He does not want us to be afraid. He wants us to have I have my faith over fear t-shirt. He wants us to have faith over fear. He wants us to have faith in him that he's going to take care of us, that we don't have to fear. We don't have to be anxious. We don't have to worry. He's going to take care of us. Okay, so Psalms 56 3 says this. Still at 2% on my phone. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. So we are going to trust God. We're going to trust God to care for us. And he does care for us. He does. Okay. Where's 7? John 14, 27. Okay, and this is this is Jesus speaking. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I will go and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto my Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do arise, let us go hence. So that is Jesus saying, do not be troubled. You know, don't be troubled. We don't have to be troubled or be afraid. Because he is going to take care of us and he is preparing a place for us. He is on the right hand side of the Father and he is preparing a place for us. Okay, so let's see what is next. That is John. Where's 8? Okay, there. Philippians. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I like this part too, so I'm going to read this. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, Think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Uh, but I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Okay, so they were caring for him. So, again, the peace of God, we're not to be afraid, we're not to be anxious, we're to trust. We must trust God, we must trust Jesus to take care of us as the Good Shepherd. We must trust. Okay, 
and when we when we don't have fear and we are not anxious and we are blessed God will bless us for trusting him and for walking in his ways and doing what his word says okay so nine is second Timothy one seven for God hath not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me his prisoner but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God so God does not give us a spirit of fear our our spirit is not a fear our spirit is of power and of love and of a sound mind okay and that was second Timothy so first Peter says this first Peter 5 6 6 says humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he careth for you he cares for us he does and he takes good care of us Ooh, he takes very good care of us I am thankful to be his child I know you probably are too um, we are his children so he takes care of us okay one more first John Where is it? First John. First John, first John. First John four. I went too far. First John four eighteen. Okay, well. I'm going to go up to 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth, dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He, hath, he that feareth is not made in perfect love. We love him because he first loved us. Okay, so again, we are not to fear we are to love and be thankful that God takes care of us now there's one more that I want to read oh and it is in Matthew and this is the last one which I guess is the twelfth one it had been marked out so many times it doesn't have a number by it So it's the twelfth one. Matthew 6. So many good things in Matthew 6. Um, but I think that this will drive home the message that God takes care of us. Matthew 6, 25 through 34. And this is Jesus speaking. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, 
what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whither or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take care, shall shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So we're not supposed to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. I'm kind of a planner though and I kind of like start lining things out, especially on busy days. But really, if we just trust God, if we seek His kingdom first, I know the days that I have my quiet time things fall into place. The days that I don't have time to have my quiet time or I don't take time to have my quiet time, things just go to pieces. So that time spent with God, letting Him know that we care about Him, that we want to listen to Him, that we want to read His Word, that we want to pray to Him, that we want to thank Him, we want to be grateful to Him, you know, He is our Creator, our Sustainer, our Protector, our Provider, our Shelter, you know, our Healer. He does so much for us. And sometimes we don't want to give Him, you know, like 15 minutes of our time during the day. We, he deserves so much more than what we give. But He is a loving God. And uh, He is not a forceful God. And if we don't take that time, He's not going to steal it from us. But the thing is, when we don't take that time, we are not as blessed as when we do. Because there is always something that I find in the Bible. Maybe I've read it a hundred times before. But just that one last time, it sticks out a whole lot more. And spiritually, I know what it's saying. Or I might have read it a million times. Maybe not a million, a hundred times or more. And that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals things to us as God wants them revealed to us. So we need not be afraid and we need not be anxious because we have a big God that's on his throne and he is in control of everything. There is, there is nothing, you can't name anything that God does not know right now. He knows everything. He knows everybody's deepest, darkest secrets that nobody else knows. He knows. He knows everything. Everything. And He still loves us. And He still cares for us. And He still takes care of us. He created us to have a relationship with Him. He really doesn't need us. He has angels and all kinds of other things that he created but he wants a relationship with mankind he's always wanted a relationship with us as a matter of fact he has destroyed mankind before because it just got so sinful and he saved eight people out of the whole world and then um, out of a whole town he saved well, he tried to save three, but one of them didn't make it. 
Well, maybe more. Lot might have had more than one daughter. I think he did. So maybe more. I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm right on that. I am on Noah. There were eight. Okay. So um, this was my quiet time with God this morning, which I count as a privilege to be able to take this time. And um, it's a precious time. It's a precious time that I spend with Him. And so, a thing that I thought I was going to talk about today is, are you blessed and highly favored? And so, I, don't, I didn't get there. I don't know. I ended up here. So maybe this helped somebody. Maybe somebody needed to know that God does care for us. And they needed to see it in Scripture. Okay, so good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day to get organized and to finish tax, tasks to create also. Well, I didn't get any creating done. I hope I can do that tomorrow. I so said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day to get reorganized and finish tasks. Create two. Well, the day's not over. I may go do some creating in a minute. I need to make my granddaughter a bracelet for her party tomorrow. Um, child, many events are happening every day. Some you will be aware of and some you will not. Things are moving very quickly. Listen to my messengers today to find out what is going on. Much of what you see in your government is theater. All acting their parts before the people, but mostly on the same side where the, when the cameras go off. I kind of have that feeling that they're all on the same side um, when the cameras go off. And I said, I see a lot of what you're saying, God, before my eyes and ears, and sometimes I can't believe what the other side is saying. They say one thing and do the opposite. I've seen that a lot. They say they're doing one thing, but actually they're doing the opposite. It is like some grand plan um, to destroy this country. I still remember the man I heard at the end of 2019 say that they must take down Donald Trump and the U.S. to achieve their global plans. They underestimated your power, God, in the power of prayer of your children in their planning. They apparently can't wait to sustain something they did not create until after the rapture. You, God, are the creator and sustainer from the beginning. They can't save something they did not create and sustain. And he said, child, their thinking is foolish, and they need to read my word to know the truth. They believe people that do not know, but say they are scientists. They will never create anything superior to what I have already created. Their foolishness makes me laugh. And there is a scripture uh, that says that too. Their plans will fail miserably, are failing miserably. Their popularity cannot be faked. The truth, all truth surfaces soon for people to choose what they believe. And I said, I see this, God. That is why they want to control the story. So they can keep shoveling lies to the people, their lies and not the truth. Thank you for meeting me this morning, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask. The truth is surfacing and the reunion is soon. The spiritual warfare is very intense. The lamb is coming and the reunion is soon, so be ready at your doorstep. Keep sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus. The reunion is going to be so awesome all of my treasures in one place. 
of perfection. And I said, Maranatha, God, my throat is dry and I keep running out of, but I brought me a cup of water tonight. I love my big cup, but it looks so big on this camera. And that's, this is really small. I don't know if you can tell. It looks a little bigger than it really is. I don't know. All right. Well, let's do a salvation invitation. Invitation to salvation. And let's use this tonight. There is Jesus, and he is waiting at the gates. Is Jesus going to be waiting at the gates for you? I'm sorry, it's hard to get both of these on the camera. Is Jesus, let me see if I can, no, I can't do it that way. Maybe I can do it on this side. No, maybe not. All right, well, okay, whatever. Is Jesus going to be waiting for you? I'll cover up my face. I don't really care. Is Jesus going to be waiting for you? I don't like the one eye thing. Okay, is Jesus going to be waiting for you? Is Jesus coming to get you? Are you saved? Is Jesus your Savior? Have you invited him into your life to be your Savior? That's a, that's a better question. Because heaven belongs to God. And Jesus is the only path to heaven and to God. So let's read this. It's easier to do just to read it. Okay, God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? The time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. How to accept his invitation? Well, here's some scriptures. Here's some scriptures that go with salvation. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. None of us are righteous. Romans 3.10, we are all sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23, but God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6, Jesus is the only way. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, mouth, <laughs> mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9 through 11. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And so this, um, when we receive Jesus as our Savior, then heaven is our reward. Heaven is our final place where we will spend eternity with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all the angels, and all the saints that have gone before us. I know... In our church, we have so many saints that have gone before us. And we just lost another lady the other day. But she's not lost because she's with Jesus forever. And we'll see her again. Okay, so, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God 
Revelation 21, 2 through 3. So this is the salvation prayer. If you would like to invite Jesus to be your Savior, it is not the prayer that saves you. It is the belief in Jesus and uh, it is the willingness to humble yourself. Okay, so here's the prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you are God's one and only Son. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. So if you prayed that prayer and uh, you sincerely, sincerely are searching for salvation, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son. And Jesus is your Savior. And so if you want to learn, I uh, talked about quiet time. I read my quiet time notes. So quiet time is merely spending some time reading God's Word. And I suggest you start in Matthew. Learn about Jesus. Learn about the Savior that you just invited into your heart. And He will care for you. He is that Good Shepherd that we read about tonight in Psalm 23. That is who He is. And so read that and pray. Pray to God. Communi prayer is communication with God. Pray to God. And find some praise music that works, unlike mine tonight. I'm going to try it one more time. So Christianity is a journey. But it is so worth the journey. So worth the journey. And just like the sparrows, God is going to take care of us. And we are blessed. We are blessed and cared for by God. Well, that's just circle in the drain. Okay, I am going to do the blessing from God because I cannot bless anyone, but God can. So in Numbers 6, 24 through 26, it says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Excuse me, I ate dinner before I came in here. So, um, my friend Josie did not make it tonight. I need to continue to pray for her. That she would be well. 
So just kind of think about how God takes care of us and if there's any verses that you can think of that you think would have gone great with this lesson, then please put them in the comments. If you come by, put your name in the comments so I can pray for you. If you got saved, please put your name in the comments so that I can pray for you. Um, we, there's so much, so much sharing that needs to be done with others. There's so many people that need Jesus. No, I guess it's decided to work now. It's on 10%. Alright, well, I am going to go ahead and pray. I'm going to pray for my friend Josie. I'm going to pray for her sister and her co-worker. All three of them are sick. So I'm going to pray that they get well. Um, I'm going to pray for our country and the world so many people need Jesus. There's just so many people that need Jesus as their Savior. All right, well, let's pray. God, we just come to you again, God, and we just thank you. We thank you that you take care of us. We thank you that we don't have to worry. We don't have to be in fear. We don't have to be anxious. All we need to do is trust and rely on you. God, we just uh, thank you for all the many blessings, for all the provision and uh, protection, God, that you sustain us, that you um, help us, God, that you heal us, that you are our shelter in the storm. We just thank you, God, for all these things. You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I Am. You are from everlasting to everlasting, God. We thank you. And God, we reach out. We just pray, God, for the truth, for all truth to rise above the lies, God. For there to be a Jesus movement that we have never experienced before in our country and all over the world, God. I think it started last year, but I don't know about this year. I don't know whether it's still going or not. But God, we need we need to have the boldness to share the truth with others and to share the gospel of get, of of Jesus. Please give us that boldness, God. Please help us to be more in your presence to testify of the great things that you've done in our lives and to encourage others with what we have been taught through your word and through circumstances in our lives and just what we've been taught through others too, Jesus. God, we just, uh, we just pray. I lift up my friend Josie to you, God. I just pray that you would heal her body. You would help her to feel better. And I pray for her co-worker, God, that she is having to work. Josie's having to work harder because her co-worker is sick, God. I pray that you would heal her body, too. And I also pray for Josie's sister, God, that you would heal her body, that you would make these ladies feel better, God, that you would give them strength and to overcome what they have. God, we just pray. We pray for... Um, We just pray, God. There's so much, and it's so overwhelming. We pray for the kids at the border, God. We pray that they would be cared for. We pray for human trafficking to end, God. We just pray for all the children to be rescued. And for the people that have trafficked them, for them to be in jail, God for them to go to prison, for them to know what it's like to be in a cage. God, we know that you are the righteous judge, that you will judge all unrighteousness. And we trust you, God, in your perfect timing. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, my brothers and sisters, my praying share warriors. 
God bless you all and your families abundantly. Have an awesome rest of your night and awesome tomorrow. It's Saturday. Kids go to my granddaughter's birthday party. I'm excited. I haven't seen her in a while. We were sick in January. I didn't see her in February. So I haven't seen her since Christmas. So that's a long time for a grandmother not to get to hug a grandchild. And it's actually been longer for the other two. So I hope to see them soon too. Um, they don't happen to have them all on the same weekend. So we just have to work with the schedule thing. Anyway, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm not listening to music either. Well, actually, that song is playing in my head. That Sparrow's song. Um, anyway, have a great tomorrow. And um, much love, much love, much love. And cyber hugs. And good night.